Be sure to comment, subscribe, and click the notifications bell. One, two, three. Hey, what's up, guys? Better late than never here with the May Young Classic. Night four of the first round. You're seeing us on Monday as of rounds two. The quarterfinals and semifinals are up live on the WWE Network. But don't worry, guys. Better late than ever. I am here to bring you guys your uh, May Young Classic Night 4 review here. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave me a thumbs up like that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page. We're both links are down below. Tell your friends and come and join the JD Venom Nation here on YouTube. Also as well, guys, on the channel, Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, NXT from this past week. Get us prepared for Monday Night Raw tonight. Monday Night Raw will be live on the channel after tonight's Raw. Um, you know, uh, May Young Classic Night 1, Night 2, Night 3, Night 4, and maybe even beginning tomorrow because, you know, I'm off work today, being it's Labor Day, I'm going to binge watch all of the May Young Classic, all, of, all the way up through the semifinals uh today so i may actually review those shows in advance in advance before uh monday night raw tonight that is going to be the goal but um yeah tell your friends tell your family come join the jd Vim nation on youtube so i don't want to waste any more time because it's already 11 o'clock here my time and i want to get this done so i can actually start watching the amay young classic Okay, so, night four. Night four, and uh, I thought this night overall was, the, to me, the best overall night. Uh, night three was great, but uh, there, there's some talents here in night four that, that I really am behind as overall talent. And first off and foremost, we start off with Miss Candice Wrestling, Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae, a, a, a long veteran in the indie wrestling scene she went up against renee michelle tonight uh now before i get into R renee michelle and what i think about her cancel ray she is the most known at least the, the person i knew about the most other than serena deeb tessa blanchard i knew of Kyrie say but i never watched her work i knew of viper niven but i never watched her work i knew of mercedes martinez and Shayna baszler but i never actually watched their work i actually watched cancel ray's work i actually watched um tessa blanchard's work and uh you know i also watched you know serena deep's work obviously because she was in um you know wwe but cancel ray is smooth in the ring she is so smooth in the ring she's probably you know Probably one of the top three best women in the tournament, in my opinion, as far as in-ring quality is concerned. She is that smooth in the ring. She, she was wrestling against men as well. You know, I mean, if you're, and also if you're the fucking husband of fucking Johnny Gorgano, you know, that's, you know, you're going to learn a thing or two. But, I mean, not to mention that, not to mention that, like I say, she wrestles against men, too, as well. She's an intergender woman's wrestler. She went against Renee Michelle. Renee Michelle, um, you know, to me, I thought she... Looked okay. She looked okay in this match. She she pulled off some some good maneuvers. Um, she she's um, you know she, she's she's mid tier as far as get her talent on this particular tournament. But um, this match here was a a fun match to open up. A fun match to open up. Um, you know we saw some great springboard mid rope arm drags by Cancel Ray. She looks very smooth in the ring as I mentioned from before. Uh, you know, we saw some uh, some good work for Renee, Renee Michelle. Uh, Renee Michelle, you know, overall, I thought I thought she was gonna look like a like you know like a total botch fest in this match, but she did some good moves. She tried she tried to do for a moonsault. She missed. Um, you know, she um, you know she looked very tough here uh, in this match against Cancel Ray. She she's obviously bigger than Cancel Ray. Uh, at one point, she did a nice little um, nice little face buster. And a little uh, head kick combination. So she looked good. Cancel Ray looking, like I said, very smooth. Top rope drop kicks. Um, you know, I mean, as I mentioned, that the little springboard arm drag by Lorray. And, um, you know, she's she's just a very fun watch in this match. Um, at one point, Renee Michelle did a, did a sloppy kip up and did a spinning, spinning back kick, which was kind of sloppy as well. So there's some things that she needed to smooth over, but... 
But um, but Candice LeRae made her look good in this match, and she hits her with the top rope uh, net breaker. I, I believe it's called uh, Candice LeRae's Wild Ride from the top rope, which is a top rope net breaker. So Candice LeRae moves on to the next round. Okay, next match is, you know, somebody who I am very, who I was very much so looking forward to. Who was somebody who I was like, okay, she she has a look on her, and she does have the ring skills back out. Now, this is the woman I was talking about that was like, okay, her and Bianca Belair. I'm talking about, you know, Tyrena Conti from Brazil. Tainara. I said Tyrena. Tainara Conti from Brazil. This chick, she is beautiful. She has a look about her. She has... You know, she can be a great heel. And she has the, you know, the judo. She has the Brazilian uh, judo. It's not jiu-jitsu, it's judo, I believe they said that she is. But I believe she's a black belt uh, in judo. She, you know, if they take some time with her, and if she learns, I don't, think, I don't know if she learns English, but if she, you know, starts to learn the English language a little bit well, she will become a star on NXT. I think probably even more so than Bianca Belair. Um, because she does have a little bit of ring skill already. I think she's, she's already a little bit more seasoned in the ring. And she's a little bit more smoother in the ring than Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair is just very athletic. She's very athletic. But she's still she's still green in the ring, obviously. You know what I mean? But she's very athletic in the ring. But Tanara Conti, she has that that bitch attitude that you can already see it just lights up on the screen and uh i think you know i really think that she could be a, a good talent in uh nxt if wwe decides to push her because she 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 has something she has something and you know i really think that she'll be very good on the main roster but she has to learn english you know everybody has to learn english you know what i mean so um Asuka picked it up nakamura picked it up she has to learn some type of english a little bit you know what i mean but um her opponent was Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, Le- a- 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 Evans. Lacey Evans, we saw on NXT several times. You know, she's been a enhancement ta- talent on NXT. So we are very familiar with Lacey Evans. Uh, the Marine, former Marine, you know, she comes out with like a 1940s, um, you know, pinup. Nah, I don't want to say a pinup girl, but like a 1940s uh, propaganda, all-American woman gimmick. You know, she looks good. I like the gimmick. I like the gimmick. I like the theme song. You know, I like I like her whole uh, setup. She, her in the ring, I, you know, she's she's decent. She's decent. Uh, she's, you know, she needs to get a little bit better, but she's decent. You know what I mean? Um, and I think, you know, with both these women being very decent in the ring, this turned out to be a, a pretty decent match. Uh, decent to good. I thought, it was, I thought it was good. I will say that. I thought it was a good match. Lacey Evans with palm strikes, with forearms to the head. She's kind of a powerhouse. She's, she towers over uh, Tainara, um, you know, at one point in the match, she jumps over the top rope, I'm talking about, um, Evans, you know, does a little, does a little, uh, kick over the, uh, ropes, uh, Conti, Conti, like I said, who's a, who, who's almost like a complete bitch in this match, she has shake her hand before the match, uh, Lacey Evans, you know, she's doing her whole judo throws, looks, looks somewhat sloppy a little bit, some were sloppy, some were actually smooth, but um, but you know, like I said, I think I think she's gonna be a great time when she improves in the ring. You know what I mean? Um, she did have one point in this match. She had like um, she was trying to do a judo takeover, but she kind of had her stuck, and she did like into like a um, into like a uh, twisting. Um, I don't want to say like a uh, like a black hole slam, but it was kind of like a like a twisting black hole slam in a way. But she had her on her back originally, so uh, very nice move. I guess what the fuck would you call it? Um. I can't think of the name of the move right now, but but it was very it was it was a, it was a good move. It was a good move. She had a nice judo throw, you know what I mean? A, a throw kind of like a belly belly suplex on Lacey Evans. So Conti looked good in this match. The way this match ends is that um, Lacey Evans gets her into like a into an air raid. I want to say, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, like anti uh, Alabama slam position, but I want to say it's like an air raid, and she gets her with the one two three pinfall. I you know. I wanted Conti to win. I knew she wasn't going to win. But, I mean, you know, she's going to be like one of those women like Tessa Blanchard uh, herself. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll even say for the fact, like, Sarah Logan as well, who went up against Mia Yim. Um, she's going to be looked at. 
she's going to definitely be looked at, even though she did lose in the first round. So, so uh, Lacey Evans does win, and she does go on to the next round. Coming up next is Nicole Savoy versus Reyna Gonzalez. I didn't. I didn't really like this match. I really did it. I'm just gonna be blunt with you guys. I think Reina Gonzalez. And it's not really based off of what Nicole Savoy did. It's really Reina Gonzalez. I just didn't really like her work. I'll be honest with you. I didn't really like her work in the match. Nicole Savoy is, you know, like the queen of the suplexes or where, where she's being billed as. It's something like the queen of the suplexes, I believe. But I believe she's in a stable with her, Shayna Baszler, and Mercedes Martinez in. Uh, Shimmer, because they show the little packages of, of her coming out with those two, so I so they do have some past relationship uh, apparently. But um, Reyna Gonzalez was being the powerhouse of this match. You know, what I mean, she was being the you know she she's obviously bigger than Nicole Savoy, but Nicole Savoy was doing her and Karanas and back kicks and and Reyna Gonzalez was just really just you know just being that 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 I guess that giant with with forearms and picking her up and, you know, you know, tossing her around the ring and doing side slams, and she's like Kevin Nash, she's like Kevin Nash, you know, she has this little fucking, you know, cowboy gimmick, uh, as well, with the fucking, uh, cowboy, um, chaps on, you know what I mean, not saying that Kevin Nash, you know, wore cowboy chaps, but I'm just saying that, like, her work, it reminds me a little bit of a Kevin Nash, uh, in a way, um, you know, cause, and what, and what I mean by that, not by the same moves, but, but by the limited offense. But basically the way this match ends is that Reyna Gonzalez had Nicole Savoy in a fireman's carry. And Nicole Savoy reverses it into a cross arm bar. Reyna Gonzalez taps out. And that was the end of the match. Nicole Savoy moves on to the next round. Reyna Gonzalez does go home. Alright guys. So the match that everybody's been talking about the first round. Okay, the match that everybody's been talking about the first round of Tesla Blanchard and Kyrie Singh. Very anticipated match. Tessa Blanchard, great looking woman, has an ass for days. I think she's fucking I think she's fucking Ricochet. Because they're always on social media together. So I think I think that's who I think I think that's who she's fucking right now. Versus Kyrie Singh. Kyrie Singh is absolutely adorable. She is cute. The pirate. The, the pirate princess gimmick is so cute. I love it. I absolutely adore it. In her, you know, it, it, you know how they have the packages. You know, they have one for like Tessa Blanchard, one for Kari Singh. In her package, she said, please cheer for me. Please cheer for me. How cute can you get? Oh, so adorable. But as adorable as Kari Singh is, she will rip your fucking head off with kicks. She is fucking great in the ring. She's 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 probably like I said, top three best women's wrestler here. Her Cancel Ray and Mal probably say Tessa Blanchard. Those are probably say my probably three best women's wrestlers in this entire tournament. Not to say that these the other women suck. I, I like Shayna Baszler. I like Mercedes Martinez. You know what I mean? Um, I like Conti. I like uh, Bianca Belair. Now I'm not saying that these the, that these women are on the level like Bianca Belair and and Conti are on the level of fucking Cancel Ray or Serena Deeb, but I am saying that they do have a pill about them that makes them an overall good wrestler. There's more to wrestling than in ring skills. There's wrestling. There's your overall package. There's your entrance. There's your uh, your character. There's 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 everything about you being a wrestler. And Tessa Blanchard and Kyrie Sane, they went back and forth. What a match this was. Now, this is not a Bailey versus Sasha Banks. This is not an Asuka, you know, versus an Ember Moon, you know, at uh, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Both of them were, you know what I mean? It's nothing like that. But this was still a pretty damn good match and obviously the best match in the first round. And, uh, and you know, I want to see, you know, I, I, I definitely want to see on, you know, on... The second, after, because like I said, I'm going to be watching the second, third, and uh, semifinals after this. I want to see what match is really going to be, you know, that fucking match. You know what I mean? I expect I expect great things out of uh, Kairi Sane, in, you know, in the next round. Kairi Sane does win this match, obviously. We know this shit, guys. You know what I mean? But uh, Kairi Sane, uh, Piper Nevin, um, you know, Candice LeRae, you know, uh, Serena Deeb. I want to see what these women do. In the next round. As far as match overall, 
they 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 fell each other out early. They did Tessa strength, you know what I mean, where they both got the upper hand on each other. Uh, Tessa Blanchard is very smooth in the ring. Third generation. Her dad's fucking Tully Blanchard, so very good. Kyrie Sane goes up for an early roll-up in the match. Kyrie Sane has a nice dive from the top rope, like a diving clothesline. Um, you know, Tessa Blanchard does a very nice um, um, a cold breaker, mid-row cold breaker, you know, and, and just levels Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane does, goes back with an octopus stretch. Just very nice stuff. Very nice stuff from these women. These two women, you know, obviously Kyrie Sane signed WWE. Tessa Blanchard needs to be signed. She just needs to be signed. Now, I mean, people will be saying, well, you know, you want you want this one to be signed, you want that one to be signed. Check this out. The women's division, they need help on all brands. NXT the most, because all you have is Ember Moon. You know, all you have is Payne Royce and Billy Kay. You have Ruby Riot. And that's about it. Asuka's going to the main roster. You know what I mean? Those are really the main four women. Now you got Lacey Evans down there who's being shown up. You're gonna be you're gonna start seeing Bianca Belair. You're gonna start seeing Kyrie Sane, Tessa Blanchard, Cancel Ray. I hope she gets signed, Cancel Ray. Serena Deeb, I know she's gonna be signed. You know what I mean? Um uh, uh Tainara Conti, who who I you know, who I hope is signed. You know, rather these women all being on NXT. Some of these women can go to, to Raw. Some of these women can go to SmackDown. Will they be put over? I don't know, but we'll, you know, we'll we'll have to wait and see. You know what I mean? But back to the match itself. Short clotheslines from uh from Blanchard. Nice belly to back suplex by Blanchard to, to Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane was getting a little bit pummeled in this match. Um, you know, at one point, Tessa Blanchard goes to the top rope and hits a a, a beautiful Santon splash from the top rope. She got a lot of air, had her knees up. It was it was like a cannonball. Very nice by Tessa Blanchard. Very fucking nice. You know what I mean? Uh, her expressions on her face when, when Kyrie Sane keeps kicking out was great. Great storytelling in this match. Uh, Kyrie Sane uh, almost got pinned by, by Tessa Blanchard for a roll-up. They reverses the roll-ups. They tried to do crucifixes and schoolboys and school schoolgirls, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um... And and Kyrie saying it basically ends this match with a nice kick to the back of the to to the lower back, does a fucking I guess like a like a like a quick Alabama slam and the most beautiful el elbow drop that you will fucking see from Kyrie saying. I mean I like the VOT Dreams elbow drop, but but Kyrie Sane's elbow drop is on another fucking level. She gets her legs all the way up. Her elbow is like. It's like she's like a she's like an incoming missile. Like she's like a fucking bomb coming in, just dropping the elbow on Tessa Blanchard for the one two three victory. Kyrie Sane moves on to the second round. Tessa Blanchard goes home in a very damn good women's match. Probably a four star match, I will say. Very good match. Very good match from these two women. Now we go on to the second round. Now I go on to start watching on the WWE Network. I probably am going to record at least two episodes today to be uploaded throughout this week. So you guys can know who will be going on to the finals. I, I don't know. Uh, you know, at this point, uh, you know, I haven't seen the brackets, but I don't see how Kyrie Sane doesn't make it to the finals. I don't see how, I don't see how Piper, Piper Niven does at least make it to the final four. I don't see how Shayna Baszler Kaylee's making it to the final four, let alone the finals. I think she's gonna make it to the finals, Shanna Baszler, because she is she's friends with Ronda Rousey. She's friends with Ronda Rousey. You think WWE wants to take advantage of that? I think so. To have Ronda Rousey live on the WWE network. WWE's smart. I think they're gonna utilize her. I can't see how uh who else? Who else I could think of? I mean, those are those are those are my three. Right, Cancel Ray. I'm sorry, Cancel Ray. I think she can make make it to the final four and maybe the finals too. So there's there's a lot there's a lot out there. But but guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you thought about this episode here. I'm about to watch uh, these next rounds right now. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up on your way out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page. Where both links are down below. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.